so we're on the train to um, Robolingo, which is the gateway to Mount Brown. Um, <coughs> we got some boxes so we're happy. It's a really comfortable train. We have air conditioning. Really good amount of leg around, surprisingly enough. And in many ways, this is better than where's the transit or SEPTA. Justin's comfortable with the temperature here. It's uh, the first time that we've had air conditioning in a few days. I, on the other hand, need a blanket. But then it's really good leg room, see? We're in another Nemo. And we are in what town? Provolingo. And we're about to take a bus to what's the city called? We don't know. But well, we have it written down. Yeah. But it's to go so we can see Mount Bromo. And the Bemo broke down. Our third breakdown. But they quickly restarted. <laughs> so the Bemo driver, why did he drop us off here? Do you know? Because they know you pay the them when we no. No, we have to pay them. Because how do I why get the money from you? And and how yeah, I don't know. They they know it we have to call the for. But they I think if we were Indonesian, they wouldn't have dropped us here. I think they would have taken us right to the bus terminal. Not very So we've had our first experience with um, some dishonest pals. Um, we uh, took the train here. This is Pro Bolingo. Um, took the train here from Benny Wangi. And the plan was to take a BMO from the train station to the bus terminal, where we are now. Um, to take a bus to the village that we're going to tonight. So we're in the BMO, everything's fine. Um, they get to a point, they stop in the road and they signal for us to get out. And as we're getting out, uh, it doesn't look like a bus terminal. So I said, no, we go to the bus terminal. And they said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you get out here and I said this isn't the bus terminal and they said yes yes you get out here and uh, I the, said this does not look like a bus terminal and the guy grabbed my bag and threw it in there and he was like hurry 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 yeah it was very rushed and so you know we were kind of shooed out of the BMO and I was yelling at them saying this isn't a bus terminal and they said yeah you go right here and it was a tourist uh, you know information booth so they speed away and we go into the tour information booth and uh, they're aware of where we're going. I guess it's um, every tourist here is going to the same village that we're going to. So they know where we want to go. Um, and they actually pitch us, you know, a shuttle bus that goes to the village for not that bad of a price. So, you know, we didn't really care at first. But then they started with the sales pitches and they were trying to sell us this whole package and we told them we're not interested in anything but booking the transportation to the village. That's all we want to book. Um, after it, he, it becomes obvious that we're not uh, willing to buy anything other than that, he, sa he says, uh, okay, get your bags, you go this way. And this was after he told us that the next bus leaves in an hour. So he, he shoes us out of the office tells us to walk down the road 200 meters, which we did, and we didn't see anything, so we walked back. He tells us some more BS, so we find a hostel. We asked them where the bus terminal was, and now we're at the bus terminal. We're waiting for, this is our bus over here. Um, we're just waiting for it to fill up. It doesn't leave until there's 15 people, and so far there are four people, and we've been waiting for, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Yeah. So, you know, I guess that's inevitable dealing with this kind of stuff when you're, de when you're dealing with public transport. Um, but I felt good because I got a chance to yell at the BMO driver. Um, and I told the tourist shop operator what I felt about their little scheme. I had told him that if we were Indonesian, we wouldn't have been dropped off at the office. We would have been dropped off at the bus terminal. Of course, he denied it. What can you do? So here we are. Kristen's pissed off because they want to charge her to use the toilet. And there are kids like peeing all over the place, throwing garbage in the sewers. 
Like literally right there. There's the irrigation system and I saw a little kid right where we're sitting for trash in it. And then I was trying to prevent myself from getting angry. And then the shop owner over there did the same exact thing. Ugh. Um, our couch surfer guy told us before that the irrigation system goes straight out into the river. So I guess all this trash that they just throw in there goes right into the river, which is lovely. Well, we waited for an hour and a half and we realized that the required 15 people were never going to show up. So we got together the six people that were, uh, that, that had already shown up to wait and we decided to all pay what was required. So we paid more than double the price to be on our way finally. Um, it's only seven bucks in the end, so it's really not that big a deal. And we also have a lot more space. It's not too crowded in here as is it's six people. I can't imagine the 15 people. So we're on the way now for seven dollars instead of 30 or 350, whatever. We'll take it. All right, so uh, this is our second sunrise hike in, what, three days now? Um, we kind of hate sunrise hikes, although I feel good now that we're up and walking. It's 3.30. Sunrise is 5.30, so that gives us two hours. Um, we think Sorry, I can't see. <laughs> we think we're going to the top of that hill up there with yeah, the lights. We can't see that either. Okay, well, it's somewhere up there. There's a light that's shining in the camera, but that's not it. It's higher than that. I yeah. don't know why the other light isn't showing up. Well, um, it's supposed to take either 60 minutes or 90 minutes, so we have plenty of time. Um, it's not too bad out. It's actually kind of a comfortable temperature. I, I can't. I can't walk. It's kind of a comfortable It's pretty flat here. Okay. We only have one flashlight. Um, <laughs> because we forgot our headlamps at home like idiots. Um, so yeah, we're gonna hike up to the top of the hill and hopefully get a good view. Woo. Did you say where we're hiking to? <coughs> to Mount Broom. Okay. <laughs> this is the viewpoint that. of Mount Broom. So here we are at the uh, Bromo viewpoint, as it's called. Um, the indoor what? About an hour, I guess, of hiking uphill in the dark um, while everyone was driving past us and riding past us on horses. We did the hike um, and we're rewarded with this. Yeah, I think we were also the only ones hiking. I didn't see anybody else. I don't know if that makes us adventurers or. So, this is a cool part, a cool uh, side of you here. I'll do a little panoramic. Zoom out a little bit. Okay. Get that plateau. That's the town that we're staying in. And the reason we're here is that. It's really awesome. We know that the big one in the background there is Mount Semeru, and one of the two in the front is Bromo, we're not sure which, and the other, we don't know what it's called, we're the worst people ever, we just know it looks awesome, this really is an amazing viewpoint, it's one of the coolest like, landscapes I think I've ever seen, after we leave here, we're gonna hike down to that crater, Kristen has only been in one volcano this week, so we figured that's not enough. Yeah, let's make it two. I'll run this again. The only problem is there's just too many people here. Yeah, th this woman has been taking photos of herself nonstop, yeah. even in the dark. She can make a flip book out of it. <laughs> Also, what's really cool is you can see the road that we hiked up. This one down here. Oh, good observation. It like winds its way up. We weren't even sure if we were following the right way in the dark, but we made it. I love how this plateau kind of just slopes up and then drops off into this, uh, I don't know if this is a giant crater. It kind of looks like it could be because it has walls on all sides. 
it's a caldera, or I'm not sure of the exact term. Kristen's uh, going for the, her beauty look here. <laughs> So we're walking down from the viewpoint, um, and as we said, we're going to go into the caldera and head up into that smoking crater. Um, the town we're staying at is right here, and officially you go through this town and you have to pay like a $25 or $30 entrance fee to enter the caldera. But what we're going to do, that's kind of annoying, what we're going to do is try to get onto this trail that we can see right here. Um, and by the recommendation of Fendi, our couch surfing host, he says we can catch one of these trails before the town and get into there for free. So that's the plan. Kristen likes to save money. So I tried videotaping this yesterday, but the road was really super bumpy and it was hard to do that. Um, but we thought this to be pretty cool some more farmland and vegetation up on the slope of a mountain. Must be really hard work. Alright, so uh, we think we found this backwards trail that uh, the Park Service doesn't want us to know about. Thanks, Fendi. <laughs> um, so as you can see, we're heading down to the caldera. We were just commenting how this uh, looks a lot like the Ngorogoro Crater um, in Tanzania. Um, which is like a really famous spot. This is actually, the scenery is much, not much better, but we think the scenery is better here than in Gorogoro, which says a lot. Um, but, you know, of course you don't have the wildlife. Imagine like hundreds of lions down there. That would be the in Gorogoro. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head down there and then walk that way. It looks pretty far, but. So it looks like. Probably like a mile or two. Where's the Maybe path? It's down there. It curves left. Yeah, I'm trying to... You can to see that guy on the horse down there. We're just going to cut across. There's the trail we're going down. You see a guy down there? Oh, uh, cool. see him. And the viewpoint where right we are there. at is up there somewhere. Oh, it's probably right up near... Here? Is that it? Uh, no, above that thing. Keep going up right there. That's it. Okay. That's the viewpoint. So, we're making some progress. The caldera is huge. When, when it was dark out, um, you could see jeeps driving way in the distance. When it was dark out, it was a lot easier to see them from the headlights. You could still see. And, yeah. you know, they just, I'm sure they're going like 40 miles an hour or something, but it just looks like they're going so slowly when you see like the whole scale of the entire caldera but it's really cool it's nice and green yeah it's beautiful this is definitely my favorite part of indonesia so far yeah. what about you mine too that's pretty um pretty amazing beautiful and the weather is nice it's cool for one it's, it's like, a little too cold up there um it was chilly but not unbearable. I, I tend to get chilly very fast and I remain that way. Um, I can never get warm once I start to shiver. So Justin was nice enough to uh, let me put on his raincoat. I had my raincoat on this and three long sleeve shirts and a t-shirt and a tank top. <laughs> and I'm so cold. I had on a t-shirt and this. And I was... Maybe slightly cold, but I'd rather deal with that than be in brutal heat, which is what the rest of the trip is going to be. That's true. I agree. So there's a really long line going up these stairs. It's a good excuse to go slow. We finally made it to the top. Oh, oh damn. That is pretty awesome. Oh my god. Huh? Oh, that's so cool. Wow. That's really cool. 
Wow. Wanna go sandboarding? Yeah, let's do it. Are you so unhappy I dragged you into a second volcano? <laughs> no, baby. I wasn't unhappy with the first one. I was just teasing you. That's so terrible of me. You're the worst, man. You're the worst. <coughs> it smells like sulfur again. Well, if you don't divorce me for looking like this... Here. This is what I have to deal with. I keep thinking about Ghost Dad when I see this. Starring Bill Cosby. Everyone else covers their face, why can't I? the trail out here. That's the one we came from. What? I'm doing something. We started up there somewhere. We're not sure where the viewpoint is. I think it's like in there somewhere. And then we walked down. Somewhere down a trail there. Down onto the caldera floor. And then straight this way. What do you want now? I want you to videotape someone that had a tweet for a mask on. How dare me to film the caldera. <laughs> when we could have had a Tweety Bird mask. Here you go. Uh, This is really awesome. There's Justin back there. Let's go find him. Hey, Jess. This is awesome. Yeah, it really is. You should zoom in down there. They're all inspired by Justin's height. Thank you. Here, I'll take it. Yeah. Oh. Justin. Okay. Here, oh, you're welcome. Can you get a picture of us too? Oh, <laughs> it's recording. <laughs> Those girls were so giddy yeah. when one held my hand and the other one got mad because she couldn't hold my hand <laughs> and then after the photo she went Ee! Also one of them <laughs> took my hand and forcibly put it on top of her head to like distinguish the, the height difference. I got that on videotape. Nice. <laughs> That was awesome. We were uh, we read in the travel blogs to expect that kind of stuff here, because a lot of people um, travel from all over Indonesia from spots that, that they don't get any tours. So I guess like we're the only white people they ever see. <laughs> I've been too busy videotaping all the people and uh, how awesome they look. 
with their uh, masks and veils. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, very different than our culture. He's trying to circle the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Hopefully he didn't fall off the edge <laughs> on the other side. Oh, there, there he is. Well, we're leaving uh, Roma Tengere. Uh, Sen Senguru? Hello. Hello. Uh, I, I screwed up the name, but whatever that is, the National Park. Hello. This place is seriously like one of the most amazing places I've ever been to. It's awesome. Uh, Good morning. Good morning. Salaman Faki. Kind of reminds you that it's still morning. We've been hiking since 3.30 a.m. It feels like it's like 5 p.m. or something. <laughs> but it's probably only like 8 a.m. Um, so yeah, this place is... I, I love volcanoes. This is uh, the second active volcano we've been inside in Indonesia, so mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Within and for three me, days. Is, yeah, and for me this is definitely the highlight of the trip so far. Yeah. Uh, and like a lifetime travel highlight. No. Uh, so now we're heading back to the town um, this way. Okay, hold on. Let me do a three six star. You can huh. see where the jeeps are driving up. And um, I think it's about a mile away. It's kind of hard to tell. Looks more than that. Mm. Right there. And then it goes Diagonal, we think. Up. Yeah. Right. There. So, we're gonna get some food and some sleep and some drinks. Yeah. Sorry, no, no Indonesian. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah. It looks empty. Yeah. You ate it all. Alright, bye bye. 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 Well, the return trip back to Provolingo is not quite as um, lucky as the first one because instead of six people, we have 16 people.